negotiating numeracy. Which graph do I choose? When we want to graph our data, there are many types of graphs we could use. So how do we choose the right one? The best place to start is with the axes. Using a ruler, we draw our axes on which we will graph. The x-axis is on the horizontal and the y-axis is on the vertical. Next, we need to consider our data to decide which variables will be allocated to each axis. Our independent variable goes on the x-axis and our dependent variable goes on the y-axis. Now, we need to consider the type of data collected for these variables. We need to decide if our data is qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative data is often referred to as categorical data and can be broken into nominal, named groups, or ordinal, groups with an order. Quantitative data is often referred to as numeric and can be broken down into discrete, counts, or continuous measurements. Generally, our dependent variable will be some form of numeric data as the dependent variable is a count or a measurement. But the independent variable could be numeric or categorical. And this is what we need to consider when we decide which type of graph we are going to create. If the independent variable is categorical nominal, such as the growth of a plant based on soil type, here the soil type can be placed in any order. In this case, we want to use a column graph. If the independent variable is categorical ordinal, then the order of the categories is important. For example, maybe we are graphing rainfall against the months of the year. In this instance, we would use a histogram with the columns sitting side by side to show that we are interested in the pattern made by the order. A trend line or line of best fit can also be added to the histogram. An alternative graph that may be used when working with categorical data, either nominal or ordinal, is a pie chart or sector graph. Pie charts are used to look at the composition of a whole. For example, when surveying a group of people to determine what percentage of the population exercise regularly. Here, each section of the pie represents the proportion of the whole group which fit into each category. Finally, if our independent variable is continuous, for example time, then we use a line graph or scatter plot with a line of best fit, thus identifying any clear trends and allowing us to predict values for points we did not collect. In summary, we look at our independent variable. If this is nominal, we use a column graph. If the independent variable is ordinal, we use a histogram. If we are interested in the composition of a whole, then we use a pie chart. And if the independent variable is continuous, we use a line graph.